Well, the next award is a, a very special award. And you can see it's pretty special because uh, the winner brought about six tables full of people over there. <laughs> and uh, he's a special guy. And the Lifetime Dedication Award for this year goes to Jose Williams. <laughs> and Peter Watson. Let's say a few words about Jose. Everybody knows, anyway, who the winner is. But I was honored when asked to speak for this year's honoree of the Lifetime Dedication Award. Anyone who knows this gentleman will agree he's more than deserving of the award. For him, it all started back in 1968 when he and some friends decided to go to Washington Park to watch some races. And well, let's just say the bug bit him that day. He started going to Maywood Park and would hang around outside the stable gate watching the horses train and jog. In the mid-70s, trainer driver, Hall of Famer even, Harry Springer, offered him a job as a groom. It wasn't long till he knew he had found his calling in life. He started a stable of his own, and he is still stabled at Maywood Park and going strong today. But that's just part of the story. He got involved in IHHA politics, working in Springfield and Chicago with the Black Caucus. That's when I first met him. When uh, we first met, we did a lot of things together for, for the uh, politicians in Illinois. We did door-to-door -door campaigns. We attended fundraisers. And Jose took me to uh, Springfield and introduced me to every member of the Black Caucus. And then um, he was very influential when lobbying. And he was able to get a lot of key votes to help us pass many bills in Springfield when we needed that vote. In 1998, he ran and was elected as director to the IHHA board. Fifteen years later, he's still a director on the IHHA board. He's the chairman of the Legislative Committee. He's the chairman of the Maywood Park Backstretch Committee. He's a member of the Legislative, or the Membership Committee, the Inclement Weather Committee, and on the Negotiating Committee. He helps with the IHHA Grooms Picnics, the Thanksgiving Day dinners, the kids' Christmas parties at both Maywood and Balmoral racetracks. He works tirelessly for the horsemen of Illinois. However, to him, it's not been work. It's been a love of the business. And he will tell you, though, he wouldn't have been able to do this and get this accomplishment tonight if it wasn't for his other half that's loved and supported him through all these years of, of him being in this business. So it's my pleasure to introduce my dear friend, Jose Williams. Simone with the presentation to Jose Williams, who also could probably be uh, the best dressed horseman in the last 50 years, Jose. Congratulations. Thank you, Brenda, for those kind words. I tell you, everything I had planned to say been said already. <laughs> so I really don't know what to say, but I do know what to say. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you who's here tonight, and I want to thank the HHA members because if it wasn't for the IHHA members, we would not be here tonight. And for that, I'll accept this lifetime achievement from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank our executive director Tony Simone, who works real hard. I want to thank our president, Dave McCaffrey. You just can't say enough about Dave. I'm going to start right here, man. I got a little stir to chill about Dave. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want somebody to make a hotel reservation for you, don't let Dave do it. <laughs> i tell you why. Dave called me one day, he said, Jose, they want you to do something for me. I made a reservation for you at the, uh, at the Hilton. I said, okay. So I goes to the Hilton, goes in, I walks in. Everybody looking at me. I mean, they looking and staring at me. I'm trying to 
figure out what's wrong with me. So okay, so I goes up to the desk, the lady looking at me, she looking trying to write, just shaking. So I didn't know what was going on, and I walked away, everybody staring at me. So a couple of days later, I ran in the day. He said, Jose, how was your stay last night? I said, good. He said, did they treat you nice? I said, yeah, why? And he kind of started smiling. He said, well, I told him, you were somebody from Hollywood, I'm in disguise. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. And I, I want to thank each and every one of you. I think I know about everybody in the house. And I think I owe everybody in the house money. <laughs> but the bad thing is I'm not here to pay you tonight. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. I want to say thanks to my sisters and brothers for flying in, my in-laws, my sons, my niece, my nephews, and my lovely wife. And let me tell you a little something about my wife. I, yeah, I gotta tell you this. I mean, one of the greatest person you ever want to meet in this world. Uh, this is the second best thing happened to me receiving this lifetime achievement. But the first thing was meeting my wife, Linda. Back in the, I won't say. But I tell you, when I leave in the morning, headed to the track, she walks to the door with me. Say, I'll see you later. When I come in at night, as I'm racing my horses, she meet me at the door. So how your horse doing tonight? I said, well, not too good. She said, well, always next time. I said, right. But whether she don't fix me a salad, it's in the refrigerator, or whether she got me chicken or steak or whatever, it's in the microwave. I never come home and have to wait until she fix my food. So I just want to say thanks to everybody here tonight and may God bless you, enjoy yourself, and may everybody get home safe. Thank you.